I going to do? All right. Idea? Yep. So you're going to go to campaigns. You're not going to do new. You're going to go up to the most recent one, which is right here. And you're going to click okay. on that, that drop down arrow. Okay. And then you're going to see view email, rename, or replicate. And you're going to click replicate. This is like clone. Yep. Replicate. Does this include the new people now? Yeah, it'll, I'll show you. We'll get to that in just a second. Okay. So we replicate the campaign first and then it brings up the screen which is basically the, the replicate. Now, the first thing we want to do is go up in the top where it says why transitions. It's loading. Is it taking a while to do this? And just go up in the, and click on that and click the pencil and click edit. Okay. And then you can change that to whatever we want it to say there. Cause it's, I think we, on the last email, we did why transitions was at the top and it'll be over here on the right. Oh, so do I change it over here? Yeah, you change it over there, and then you can say, what's this one going to be? The five. The five. Trends of the creativity age. Okay, hey, cool. And then, then I'll go down to the bottom. <clears throat> Scroll down. I click that little X right there. And then click Save and Close. Okay, so that fixes that. Now, next thing is go back up, scroll up, <clears throat> and go over to the left and click on that whole section there, right there. This whole section yep, here? Yep, the whole section here, and then click edit. Yep, click that. Just click uh, in there. Am I just going to do Happy Monday? You can just click in there. I'm just going to click in here? Yep, and then it'll open it up on the right. Okay. And then this is where you can change all the content. Now, I usually keep high first name because that's code. Mm -hmm. So that'll automatically put in the person's first name. Mm -hmm. But then everything else below it, you can change. You can just highlight over all that just like this, like I'm doing. And then I can just delete that. And I can highlight the picture and delete that. And I can keep the, the footer the same. So I want to delete this. It just seems scary to do this. No, it's no, it's not. I'm right here. We're going to delete the picture. We know there's not a picture there. I already deleted it. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, and you can keep that all the same. And then this is where you type in your content, just like a, a Word document. Oh, do I have to type it in? Um, well, it depends on what you want to say or um, what you want to add there. Okay. Well, I already have something I can add there. Yeah. So what you can do is let's say I, I get content from your, let's see. I'm going to get content from the blog post. No, I have something else. I'm just going to show you an example. Okay. So let's say I wanted to get, I have, there's all this content you've, you've already mm -hmm. written. Yeah. I could say, I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste that in. And then now that, now I have some content. Um, and then I'm going to get this image, like one of the images. You're going to take the. Which one do I want to um, do? You want to do? I think didn't we last time? It already has a seven life lesson. I think okay, we made that one. No, don't I don't do that again. Just use one. Okay. Just use the seven, seven life lessons. lessons. Okay, so then I can go here. I can just save this image. I'll just save it to my computer. Okay, and then I'll go here, and I'll click on that little image. Okay. And then it's going to show me the images that we that we've already used, and then I can click upload, and then it'll I'll pick the image that I want to use. It's uploading, and that's fine. The width is fine. Um, I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to get the address and make the image a link. Just put it right in there, and now I have that image. And then I can click save and close. I mean, that's, I would want to add maybe a little bit more. Okay. But that gets you started. Okay. So I like that line. 